Hey guys, let us get more news about Dallas, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. First call, Steelers projected as landing spot for Dak Prescott in 2025, UFA wide receiver target off the board. Wednesday's first call positions the Pittsburgh Steelers as a potential destination for Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott in 2025. Meanwhile, the franchise lost out on a possible acquisition in free agency, but is doing some homework on a pit defensive back. And the Penguins have a really good chance of pulling off back-to-back -back wins, while the Duquesne's women's team travels to play Purdue in the next round of the WNIT. If you are unsure about the Steelers' quarterback situation heading into 2024, consider how uncertain the landscape is for 2025. Neither Russell Wilson nor Justin Fields are currently locked in Pittsburgh beyond this season. That's why national radio host and NFL Network personality Rich Eisen is tabbing the Steelers as a potential landing spot for Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott in 2025. What happens if the guy they went ahead and gave pole position, Wilson, doesn't work out? What if they get a look at Justin Fields and say he's not the guy, Eisen said on his radio show Wednesday. Maybe the Steelers are all in. Right now, their offense costs nothing. I don't even think it's $15 million. They'll have the money to give Dak a multiple of that. I think the Steelers might be in on Dak and let him finish his career in Pittsburgh. Via CBSSports.com, Prescott is owed more than $55 million in 2024 as part of a four-year, $160 million extension he signed in 2021. His deal also includes no franchise tag and no trade clauses. That means if another team ahead of the trade deadline this fall doesn't have enough assets, and likely money for an extension, the ninth-year veteran will hit free agency after the 2024 campaign. Prescott led the NFL with 36 touchdowns, against nine interceptions. He threw for 4,516 yards and completed 69.5% of his passes. CBS Sports HQ senior NFL insider Jocena Anderson reports that Dallas wants to reach a new deal with Prescott, but no talks are imminent. The Steelers apparently have an interest in pit cornerback MJ Devonshire. According to SteelersNow.com, the Steelers will host the Al Equipa grad on a pre draft visit. Playing in Pat Narduzzi's press man, one on one coverage should open the eyes of NFL scouts. Devonshire intercepted eight passes, including three pick SIXS in three seasons at Pitt. Devonshire may help on special teams too. He averaged 7.4 yards per punt return in his college career, with one touchdown. Cowboys News, How Dak Prescott's Future Could Look With or Without a New Deal It seems Dallas wants to keep Prescott, even if they wait to do so until next year. Kirk Cousins was the rare long-time starting quarterback to hit the NFL's open market in 2024. Dak Prescott could be next in 2025. Despite recently expressing confidence in securing a new long-term deal with the Dallas Cowboys, Prescott is now on track to play out his current contract in 2024, according to NFL media, with no signs of an immediate extension. Prescott and the Cowboys have a mutual understanding of his contract situation, per Ian Rappaport, with no offers from Dallas despite him being in a contract year. Team owner Jerry Jones, meanwhile, said Tuesday at NFL owners' meetings that the Cowboys are where we are, locked and loaded for this year in regards to a potential extension. CBS Sports HQ senior NFL insider Jocena Anderson has since reported Dallas does, in fact, intend to reach a new deal with Prescott and is not presently charting a path to let the quarterback test free agency in 2025, but noted no talks are imminent. The news marks a stark contrast to Prescott's own framing of the situation earlier this month, when the Pro Bowl quarterback told reporters he was definitely confident he'd strike a new deal with Dallas ahead of the 2024 season. Obviously it helps the team, he said at the time. It's important for the salary cap numbers. I've heard Jerry say that. Both sides understand that. Everything is great. 
it'll happen. Since then, Jones has notably reversed course on the notion the Cowboys are all in on the 2024 campaign, revealing this week Dallas may have to do more with, less, as a result of financial obligations. Prescott, meanwhile, is owed more than $55 million in 2024, more than all but one other quarterback in the NFL, as part of a four-year, $160 million extension he signed in 2021. Cowboys find potential replacement for former pro bowler in new mock draft. A new mock draft has the Dallas Cowboys selecting a prospect who could potentially replace running back Tony Pollard, who signed a three-year, $21.75 million deal with the Tennessee Titans in free agency. ESPN's Matt Miller predicts the Cowboys will take Texas Longhorns' RB Jonathan Brooks with the 56th overall pick of the draft. The Cowboys have yet to replace Tony Pollard but could get a potential round one prospect on a discount after Brooks suffered an ACL tear in November, wrote Miller. Brooks is expected to be cleared this summer to return to football action, which would get him on the field in time for training camp and in time take the RB1 title here. He rushed for 1,139 yards and 10 scores last season before the injury. The Cowboys are scheduled to host Brooks on a top 30 visit in April. Executive Vice President Stephen Jones added team doctor Dan Cooper performed his surgery, giving the club more intel. It always helps when one of the doctors you're very familiar with does the surgery, Jones said Monday, per the team website. If it wasn't for the injury, he might have, ultimately been rated the best back in the draft. Pollard's departure was massive for the Cowboys. In 17 games in 2023, the former pro bowler rushed for the 12th most yards in the league, 1,005, and 6 TDs. His backup Rico Dowdle didn't prove he's a bona fide RB1, amassing 389 rushing yards and 2 TDs on 89 carries in 16 games. Per Michael Delkin of the Dallas Morning News, the team will consider signing Dalvin Cook and former Cowboy Ezekiel Elliott to add more depth. Still, the Cowboys should draft another RB. Despite the injury concern, Brooks might be worth the risk. NFL.com's Lance Zierlein compared him to former Kansas City Chiefs star Jamal Charles, who made four Pro Bowls in 11 seasons. And you, fan, what do you think about the situation of Jonathan Brooks? Leave your opinion in the comments.